Okay, let's talk about electronic keyers and how they relate to iambic modes. So, electronic keyers work with paddles to send Morse code. Electronic keyer repeats uh, the elements of whichever side you're sending. This is a dual lever paddle. It has two levers, one, two. It has a dit side and a da side. This is a single lever paddle. It only has one lever, but if you press on its left side, dits, press on its right side, da's. It's similar. Main difference is you can't do anything iambic with a single lever paddle, because you can't squeeze. It's just one lever. So we're going to talk about squeeze king and how it relates. So I've got a keyer here, and it has mode A and mode B. That's mode B. That's mode A. Okay, what is the difference in mode A and mode B? The differences only occur when you squeeze both paddles together and let go simultaneously, let go at the same time. At no other time does mode A or mode B make a difference. It's only when you squeeze the keys and let go of them together. All right, so in mode A, if I squeeze both keys together, whatever element it's making at the time I let go simultaneously, it's going to finish sending that element and stop. Okay? So, if I squeeze both keys together, let's do the letter A. I'm going to touch the left first, then the right. That should give me an A, but I'm going to squeeze them and let them go together. All right. Now if I kept pressing them together, you'd hear the iambic pattern. But squeezing and letting go. The DA was being sent last and it stopped. If I'm in mode B, now we're in mode B. The difference is whatever element it's sending, when I let go, it's going to finish sending that element and send the opposite element, then stop. So before I was sending an A by just squeezing them together and letting go, and you heard da da, and because I let go while it was making da da, it stopped. But in mode B, it's going to do the dit, the da, I'm going to let go while it's making the da, and it's going to follow up by sending the dit again. And now it's an R. So, we've made an R by only squeezing the paddles once. In mode A, to do an R, it requires one extra stroke. Right? Because just letting go doesn't send that extra dit. So, what's a letter that, um, that makes a bigger difference in? The letter C. Let's go back to mode A. Now we're back in A. So in mode A, if I want to send the letter C, I've got to touch the dit twice. Because if I don't, I just get an N. But if I'm in B, it's going to, when I let go and it's sending that DAW, it's going to finish sending the DAW and it's going to send the final dit for the letter C. See, it made that finish the DAW and sent the dit when my hand was off of the key. So, that in essence is the difference between mode A and mode B in iambic keying. You can use a dual lever paddle, and if you don't squeeze key, um, the modes make no difference. If you don't squeeze key, it's the same as using a single lever key. Right? So, I'm in mode B, I left it in mode B, and I can still uh, use the same motions I would use in mode A. Because I didn't let go of squeezed keys simultaneously. And it'd be no different than using a single paddle. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching.